Yeah, and it's run in first place with $41.3 million. It was less than expected, but still the best debut of any film since Nope back in July. After two weekends on top, Smile fell to second, but $12.4 million pushed the horror movie past the $70 million box office mark. Lyle, Lyle Crocodile dropped to number three, taking in $7.4 million. The Woman King held steady in fourth place, earning $3.7 million. Amsterdam fell to fifth place on ticket sales of $2.9 million. And today, you might want to stay indoors and watch a little essay live because it's raining outside. Oh, yes, and yes. we are gearing you up for Halloween and any spooky shindigs you may have. Yep, and if you're going to stay indoors, time to have a snack. Yeah, new here, because the owner of Meats and Treats Charcuterie is here. We've got everything you need, and just in time for Halloween, right? You're, yes. You, you got a little twisted time. sense of humor going on here. Right. Look what she made. Well, just a bit. Yeah, uh, no one was harmed in the making of the charcuterie <laughs> board. Mm -hmm. Believe Definitely. it or not. Woo. I mean, look at that Halloween skull just in time for Halloween season, and you can't have a party platter without the skull itself. It just screams Halloween. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna get a lesson on how to maybe make one of those things coming up. Speaking of making, yes, take a look at this. Cute Cute kids costumes with cute kids that don't cost much. We're showing you how to make some great DIY Halloween costumes with, of course, these adorable models. Speaking of costumes, you gotta head to the theater and that's where Jen is. Coming up today on SA Live, we're at the Magic Theater getting a preview of Eddie and Vinny. We'll tell you how it's helping audiences better understand what it's like to have dyslexia. And need some comfort food to warm you up? How you can make mac and cheese even better? A local chef shares her simple but delicious recipe. And that made us think, what is really good to eat on a day like this? Could it be mac and cheese? Could it be just a little piece of cheese? Or, uh, <laughs> what do you think? Yes, what, of course, is your favorite food on a rainy day? Let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. You may see your answer in the show. Well, in Mike. Yes. Still pretty cool out there. We got temperatures in the 60s. A few more light showers trying to work through San Antonio. So we'll still see some off and on light rain today. Temperatures hold steady in the mid 60s. Tomorrow clouds are slow to clear, but I think by the afternoon we get some sun. And then from there we get some beautiful weather, although it will be chilly both Wednesday and Thursday morning. Don't put the jackets up yet, guys. That's a good idea. Well, keep them out. Keep them out, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be interesting. We got the cute kids with the costumes. Yes. Are we gonna need like a and that charcuterie? It was a scary charcuterie board. Was it scary? Well, it's supposed to be. It's Halloween. Oh, I don't want. I scary. like that. I don't want. And mac and cheese. How can you go wrong? If they live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> okay, that thing is just. <laughs> I don't know if it was a, I want to, hello and happy Monday, but I don't know if it's a happy Monday for that poor soul right there. Halloween is just two weeks away. Are you ready? Good afternoon. We need to make that thing talk. Is, does the jaw move on it or not? It, it oh does? my gosh, oh, make wait, it talk. Wait, 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 wait. Here, do it, me... do it, go around. Make, I know this is all he's been wanting to do. And... Hello, welcome to SA Lot. No, not me. The, the, <laughs> the, not, Okay, say, that's some, really... say something. <laughs> I, I, I just noticed that there's like. Say anything. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. Back to you, Fiona. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. He's I've had my, my fun. I'm Fiona. Of course, it's a rainy day today, right? Yes, it is. And you we would have know. A... You would know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's been a long weekend. Okay. We have a delicious mac and cheese recipe coming up. You know that good comfort food, and that made us think mm -hmm. on a day like this, mm -hmm. what do you like to eat? I know what you like to eat what? on rainy days. It what? is always like grilled cheese and um, tomato basil soup. Or, or any kind of soup, yes. Grilled mm -hmm. cheese and soup. But specifically you like that, right? Am mm. I right? Am I remembering that right? The tomato? I should know these things about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, any kind of soup. Tomato yes. soup is very good with a good grilled cheese too. Mm -hmm. So okay. how about you? I have to say the same. Yeah. Tomato basil and a good grilled cheese. Mm. So mm -hmm. let us know what's your favorite food on a rainy day. However, mm -hmm. charcuterie is pretty darn good too. And if you're gearing up for your Halloween party, our next guest can help make sure the snacks have a spooky vibe. Boy, that's the understatement. All right, Nuvia Castillo, oh owner of gosh, Meats and Treats things. Charcuterie, <laughs> is here to show us how to make a char. Bootery board. No, 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 Welcome. guys. Oh. Not char bootery board. Char boo. Like in Halloween. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought it was this segment was going to go a whole different direction. <laughs> okay. 
right. We've been working on that chick all morning long. Did he lose an eye? <laughs> oh, he may have lost an eye. It might oh have been when you were trying to make him talk. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. Oh, okay. there we go. That was easy. <laughs> all right. Now he can see. But how do we get started? Yes, okay. definitely. So you're going to go ahead and grab your mini skull that you have there. Okay. And we're going to make it like reality. You're going to take your pros uh, prosciutto. And prosciutto and just looks I know. It, amazing. Yes, it has those white <laughs> lines, perfect for that veiny look. Okay. And you're just going to take it and cover your skull. Cover you're going to work it around. Make sure you get right there in the eyes. Make sure you get oh, in the I teeth uh -huh. and just work your way around that. Okay. Where do you want it to fold? In the back? Or do you, so, you know what I mean? Or? Yeah, so get creative with it. So. Uh -huh. You're just gonna go oh, ahead and God. wrap it, and then you're just gonna yeah, definitely. When you, when like you push it in the eye socket, so I, they, I feel like I'm giving it like a facelift. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm like, let me pull this back here. There we go. Oh Less wrinkles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let me pull this here. There we go. And you can go ahead and grab more of that meat uh -huh. and just keep wrapping it. And just keep. So you can layer. You can layer okay. definitely. Of okay. course, if you use the white on the meat itself, that's what gives it more of that veiny look. Okay. Oh, my oh God. yeah, look at that. Look at mine right there. I know. It's not bad. And you, you can pull. Yeah, this Twisted. is like something out of. <laughs> Twisted. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then after we kind of get it covered. Is That's that, fun, though. What, what's the next? <laughs> so from this. He's going to try and make the small one talk. You understand that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It might have issues talking just because, yeah. It's not alive. <laughs> it's not, it's not alive. Oh, he's so, going he's gonna, to he's make it live. All right. okay. So after you've done that, you're going to uh -huh. grab your pre-made rose that you have on your uh, box oh, here. Oh, darn okay. it. Okay. I'll yep. take this from you. Okay. This one? Yes. Pre-made rose. So we're going to learn how to make one of these roses ourselves as well. Okay. All right. There okay. you go. Uh -huh. So. So you're going to get in here, take out your. It's like a little box yeah, lunch. I love this one. The bottom here. one. Got yes, it. The bottom yeah. one. The bottom one. The bottom one. The bottom one. Oh, yes. here with the. There okay. Oh. And now, and now we're gonna take our plastic cup that you have plastic right in front cup. of you. Got it. And you're gonna place it anywhere on your tray that you would like. Okay. You're gonna take eight slices. Uh huh. And you're just gonna start placing it around the cup. Just layer it, like kind of halfway layering it, right? Yes. Okay. Two. One, two. And and leave something hanging over the edge, right? Obviously. <laughs> yes. Okay. You can just place it there, and then you're gonna be left with about eight more. Uh huh. So we're gonna place that on your cutting board. Okay. Uh, oh, where's my cutting board? Oh, okay. Got yes. it. And it's gonna be kind of half ways. Got it. Uh-huh. One, two. Two. Uh -huh. We may run three. out. Of we can totally three. count. Three. Okay. Four. <laughs> Five. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And after you've done that, you're gonna take that salami and fold it in half. Take the salami. And it's gonna look just like a roll. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Okay, got it. Uh huh. And then you're just going to roll that entire line. Oh, no way. Oh, okay. No way. Wait, so it, you can just. Oh, oh and it's, it's great because it's sticky enough to kind of yes. stick together. Yes. To help you out. So with now a that bit of you, the, the, once you get that roll done, you are able to just place it on your cup and you have a beautiful rose. Come on, come on. Here we go. Here oh we go. my gosh. No way. <laughs> yeah. That was so easy to do. It's so easy. Okay. You can place it. It's a great way so to we... just add some uh, art to your food. Ah! Perfect. I'll I'll be out of this. Darn. Where are we? Over on that one? Look at that. Look this at that. So it looks like we're professionals. We're not. You are. <laughs> You are definitely a professional, so you can place that anywhere yeah. on your tray that you would I'm like. I'm going to celebrate yeah. with a piece of slime here. So. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to learn how to do a kiwi star. So you're going to take your, kui your kiwi, Cute. and kiwi. you're going to have okay. your knife, uh -huh. and you're actually just going to zigzag okay. right around the kiwi itself, okay. all the way around. Don't. Zig, zag. Are you oh, going to say that the whole way around zigzag? I zigzag. Okay, okay so if, while, while we're yeah. doing this, Tell us, of course, a little bit, you know, how you got started with this charcuterie, charbuterie, whichever one it is, depending on the season uh, <laughs> business. Of course. So I actually started doing this just for friends and family during the pandemic. Um, I was part of the hospitality industry, and we all know how 2020 went. Yep. So I just needed something to keep me sane during that period of time. And I found love around 
being able to create food art and just bring my friends and family around the table and just have a great time. So that was a great thing to do. And there you can you uh, put in orders right now for Halloween, but yes. also if you're looking for Christmas parties, Christmas, order now. Christmas, yes. Make sure that you go ahead and head over to our website, send us an email. Um, our Christmas availability is um, limited, so just make sure that you get, get a spot. And okay. there's a deal for folks watching right now, right? Yes. Go ahead and head over to our website. Um, this pertains to any order, and you'll get 10% uh, off. Just use the code SA Live. <laughs> Food truck over there yes, at Bitters yeah. and uh, 281. So check it on out there. I know. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Nubia. Thank of course. You. All right. So again, don't forget to use the code SA Live. All one word. Get 10% off. All right. Alas, poor Yorick. Oh, I knew him see, well. See, look. They, 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 oh, they're back. Okay. Okay. Did you have something to say? Well, I'm, I'm not leading. To okay, say? or she? From I don't know. fun entertainment, fun family, because <laughs> it's theater, so I'm getting into theater mode here with the Shakespeare business. But this is magic theater where Jen's going, so I'm kind of bad at winging my way here. So uh, it's not, it's not obvious at all. Okay, our Jen Tobias Trusky shows us how it's helping to raise awareness on dyslexia. Just leave them here and. Oh! Dang. It's a one-of-a-kind show here at the Magic Theater for audiences to better understand what it's like to have dyslexia. Today, we get a preview of Eddie and Vinny. So, what's my fact of the day? Seriously? Now? I love how they look right at you. As if they really are thinking. <laughs> And I'm joined now by Anthony Runfola, the artistic director here at the Magic Theater. Anthony, so excited to be here. Let's talk about what makes this production unique. Well, this is a world premiere production. Uh, we commissioned it about a year ago from playwright Jenny Millinger, and we spent the last year and a half, two years developing this script. So San Antonio is the first city to see Eddie and Vinny. Wow, yeah. and what about the storyline? What can you tell me? Sure, so the story centers on Eddie, who is a young boy uh, struggling with dyslexia. He's having trouble in school, and he faces uh, the prospect of going to summer school. Uh, could happen if he can't get his grades up. So he has his best friend, is also his pet gecko, uh, named Vinny. And we're not sure if Vinny is trying to distract Eddie, or is he encouraging Eddie to lean into his unique mind? I've been staring at the ceiling for seven hours and 26 minutes. I need a new fact. Fine. Fact of the day from science. Ah, oh, science, the foundation of knowledge. One in five people have dyslexia, mm -hmm. and so often it goes undetected. And so one of the things the play can, we hope the play will do, is to um, may maybe parents come and they see uh, behaviors in Eddie that they might recognize in their child, or a teacher. Whoever, teachers are really on the front line here uh, for detecting this. Maybe a teacher sees a behavior in their student, too. And so the play can open up conversations and maybe look encourage folks to look into what, what might be happening with their, with their child. Uh, so I play Vinny, who is Eddie's best friend and possibly a pet gecko, possibly an imaginary friend. We're not sure, um, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. So I get to pop in different places of the set and things. And <laughs> I'm really just there to help him uh, with his, his attempt to not go to summer school. So we work together as buddies and try to make magic happen. Penelope. into character for this. Ooh, <laughs> yes, I do my gecko movements. Um, I definitely do a lizard pose, yoga pose. Um, yeah, we just we just have fun together. I'm really lucky we are a family here with our actors, our other actors. So yeah, we just have fun. It says, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. You're running through October 28th. That's but right. During the week, there's some options for schools, correct? That's right, yes. So uh, all week long during the week, uh, schools can come in on a field trip and see the show right here downtown at the Magic Theater. And then weekends, the general public is can come and buy tickets. The word you're looking for is monofocal, and that's why I can see things close up and far away at the same time. We have so many other uh, opportunities to come see it. We have sensory friendly performances, uh, and we have an ASL performance as well. Well, so we try to make it as accessible for everyone. A weird little brain? It's just a weird little brain. Useless, right? Yeah, useless. And I can see patterns form right before my monofocal eyes. And remember, there's lots of interactive elements here on stage when you come watch Eddie and Vinny. The show runs through October 28th. For more information, head over to EssayLive.com, click the As Seen on the Essay Live tab, or scan that QR code on your screen.
Really cool concept, Magic mm -hmm. Theater. You know, we always took the the kids there, and I believe this is also getting national attention. What they are doing there. So there's also an ALS, excuse me, ASL interpreted show on October 22nd at 5 p.m. and a sensory friendly performance on October 25th at 10:30 a.m. For more information, we have their website on salive.com. Just click on the scene on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Need some comfort food to warm you up today? We can make mac and cheese. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Even better, our local chef Sarah shares her simple but delicious recipe. But first, are you a last minute person or maybe just want to save a couple of bucks? We're showing you how to make some great DIY Halloween costumes. That's next on SA Live. Well, can't find that perfect costume for Halloween. How about you just make it yourself? When oh. it comes out this cute, I mean, how yeah. can you not? When they <laughs> come walk up to your door and say trick or treat in those kind of costumes. All right, Abby Mayberry, who is the CEO and founder of Lightwork 316, is here to show us some really great ideas on making costumes. Yeah, yes. thanks for having me back. I love being here. So this is a really, really budget friendly and easy costume to make. It is some nice thick uh, foam board mm -hmm. that I got from the Dollar Tree, some rolled up brown paper, or you could do one of these really cool little uh, shiny kind of teacher. Uh, yes, these are the, 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 yeah, on the board. On the yes, board, the yeah, the board. exactly. Yes. Same thing from Dollar Tree as well. Some glue and some construction paper to make your toppings. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a fantastic uh, family night. We already have our pizza sauced here, and we're just going to add some toppings. And, and, uh, you can, and this is simply, I mean, you can use a grocery bag, too, if you, you wanted to. You absolutely could, but yeah. You just rolled it up and, and kind of rolled roll it, it up, up in there. Rolled it up, over, and it kind of puffs up on its own, so it looks like a nice, good piece of crust. Okay. And uh, oh. then we use construction paper to, you know, cut out some cheese, some pepperonis. Okay. You could really make this a, a really fun family activity where, where everybody everyone, could, yes, could be their could own, be their own pizza. slice of pizza. Exactly. Like if you like pepperoni, you can be pepperoni. If you have the works on it, well, then you can do that. Exactly. I love that. Exactly. And then, and then for. Um, for the straps. Yeah, to hold it on, you just use a, a nice little piece of grow grain and, and loop it around your neck and you can take it on and off. And that way, it's also great in the car. You know, I'm always, my kids were always like, Mom, my costume's too big to fit in the back seat. So, you know, you gotta find something easy to do. Yeah. And the nice thing too is, mm -hmm. if it's cold, a jacket goes mm -hmm. underneath that. If it's hot, they're not just gonna be They're sweating. not completely yeah. sweltering, exactly. And it's pretty light, just night, you know, nice, easy. And like I said, we I got all of this stuff at the Dollar Tree, so super easy and and really super budget affordable. friendly. Love okay. that idea. Okay, right. we're gonna swap this <laughs> table out for our next one here. Mm -hmm. And what do we got going on here? Sloan. Oh, Sloan. Sloan, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, my daughter Sloan. Turn around. <laughs> so Turn we around. have a paintbrush oh, and a paint palette. There we go. And that is just a nice piece of a poster board <laughs> that we cut out to look like a paint palette, put some fun colors and designs on there. Mm -hmm. And then we used uh, just a piece of mm -hmm. elastic that was already colored for us nice and neat. And we got some white uh, pipe cleaners. You could use whatever color you wanted and just hot glued them on and then kind of bobby pinned them around her head so she looks like a cute little paintbrush. And I thought another fun thing to do would be maybe get some of these canvases and have the kids draw a picture on it. Um, you could attach some uh, paper clips to the back of them and just kind of tack them all along the, the costume. Or you could throw some paint on there as well. Just whatever you wanted to do to make it uh, your own personal costume. <laughs> and, and like we were talking about, that would be fun if everybody made a little thing. And even if you had an old dad shirt. Exactly. Yeah. yeah just <laughs> Okay. Anything, button ups of all kinds, and, <laughs> and just make it into something really fun. And on the back of that, so she could hold on to it, we kind of stabilized it with some more of that little Slum. foam board uh -huh. and put just another little handle on the back there. Okay, well, she's got to perform, Fiona. Come on. <laughs> right, Takes after her mom on this there one. There we go. Look, look. Yeah. They hold it here, and then they can see the back. How they did that right there. See? Look oh, right yeah. there at the camera. Okay. Yes, okay. And <laughs> next, okay, next, we right, are going go. to show a real. Okay, yes. Look at how beautiful she is here. These are a couple of great ones going on. First of all, we are going to be making what this little cowboy has on. Right there. Ah, I can't exactly. even right now. So we have our rodeo clown here. So I think, oh, he's fast. He's fast. He's fast. Eight seconds. 
and sweat. There FA Rodeo is one of our favorite things to do as a family. We're, we're on one of the committees there. And so we decided, why not be a rodeo clown? This is another uh, a costume that both of our girls have been in when they were little. And we just got a, a pair of jeans that was a little too big and cut them into shorts. Added some uh, ribbon again on those suspenders. And then uh, got a white t-shirt and I painted some funny sayings on there. The front of it says, call my mama in eight seconds. And the back says, cowboy <laughs> up. Then we have uh, some, some bandanas that we cut into quarters and kind of shredded the edges and tied them around. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put SA Live on his little booty and then <laughs> Let's Go Boys, which is something that the bull riders say a lot when they want to nod for the gate. So, And then I, uh, I talked to my oldest daughter, this is my grandson, my, my one-year-old grandson and our oldest daughter. I talked her into being a, a, a bull today. So, oh, <laughs> right. so yes. she's got her ears made of felt. And again, things that you can get at the dollar store. Exactly. Once again. Yep, these were 98 cents a piece. Um, at, at Walmart and just you know like a clearance jeans you can even go to uh, one of the resale shops or mm -hmm. something like that so okay. this one mm -hmm. is a great one the angel wings here turn around sweetie so yes. we can see your wings in the back okay yes let's see yeah. yes Woo! this is Avalyn she is one of our light work kids she is helping her mama fight cancer right now and she is her mama's angel so we thought she was perfect to be a Christmas angel today, okay. and she's gonna, she matches with our next costume. And this is just another piece of uh, construction, or I'm sorry, um, poster board and some tinsel that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. And while we're looking at the Christmas tree, which is so easy to do, tell us a little bit about Lightwork 316, very quickly. So Lightwork 316 is a 501c3 that is uh, dedicated to helping children and families that are facing major medical battles. So we do that by helping them make memories in the midst of their battle. We give them all kinds of fun things to do and um, and this is you know another thing we, we try to include them in every way that we can Love. and uh, we really we really enjoy having our, our kids they become family and our families become our family as well oh Wonderful. Abby, thank Love you so ideas. much for what you do all right everybody wave next <laughs> the holidays are coming fast are you already worried about your credit card debt oh he is he's already crying <laughs> okay how a local company can help you get it paid off fast it's straight ahead on SA live I know buddy I know Inflation and rising interest rates might be making it hard for you to pay your credit card debt. If you have $30,000 to $100,000 worth of credit card debt and personal loans, Tim Wilkins with San Antonio-based Affordable Debt Consolidation is here with solutions. Welcome. I have solutions. <laughs> Happy to hear that. For those who may not be familiar with your company, how do you exclusively help Texans struggling with tens of thousands in credit card debt? That is a great question. Mm -hmm. We've actually exclusively been helping Texans and for over 20 years, we're 100% veteran owned, A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. And what we do is very simple. We look for the best solution for each individual situation. It's not like a national company that's using some cookie cutter approach. We like to have, since we're San Antonio based, uh, an in-person or uh, office or over the phone consultation, meet with one of our Texas debt specialists and find the best option for you. That option could be a debt consolidation loan using our affiliate platform to get you the best loan. It could be a debt consolidation debt counseling program that actually gets you a lower interest rate without a new loan. Or it could be our Texas debt relief program that actually negotiates a, a large reductions of your principal balance. Mm -hmm. And that could be a huge savings for people that are really struggling because what that can do is give them a monthly program payment that could be less than half compared to making just minimums and it could help resolve that debt in as little as 24 to 48 months. All right, lots of good information there. Why should Texans be careful when selecting a company for help with debt? Well, a lot of these out-of-state companies aren't even uh, companies, they're uh, advertising agencies that are just collecting your information and selling it to the highest bidder. Uh -huh. They may not be licensed in uh, Texas, and they may be one of the many problems we're getting with people calling. But another thing they do is since they're spending all this advertising money, advertising nationally, we're not, and we're passing a lot of those savings on, we're typically 40% less uh -huh. than most of those out-of-state companies, which when you're already struggling, is a big relief. The last thing you need is more fees on yes. top of your debt, inflation, and interest rates. Right. So, so you would say local is probably the better option. Always better. Right. Plus, debt is deeply personal and very mm -hmm. stressful for people. Having that personal connection and knowing mm -hmm. that that person is on some distant phone line, it's one of your friends and neighbors that's right here in San Antonio, is a big relief for people struggling. Yes, a comforting feeling indeed. Now, you have some graphs to help explain some of the other options to resolve debt, right? This really illustrates the help that can be provided. If you look at this first one, a very common number for us is 50000 in credit card debt. Mm -hmm. With 50000 in credit card debt, you could see that paying that off over time could cost over $100,000. 
With uh, credit counseling or debt consolidation, that could be around 63,000. But with our debt negotiation program, that could actually be less than what you actually owe today. Now, this next graph is actually those monthly payments just minimums with 50,000 in debt could be over 2,000 and with rate hikes coming that could actually go up now with credit counseling or debt consolidation uh, d uh, debt consolidation loan that could be about 880 or 1,050 mm -hmm. and with credit with our debt negotiation program again that could be less than half compared to making monthly payments you see 750 on that graph mm -hmm. and the big thing is the amount of time that it takes to resolve that debt that's this last graph. In this mm -hmm. last graph, you actually see that it could take over 20 years to pay that off over time. And with those other programs, it's considerably less, especially debt negotiation could be 24 to 48 months. Wow, it's all laid out right there for you. But of course, you can give them a call and they can help you. Again, we mentioned that local connection. Call now for, for, for your free phone or office consultation with affordable debt consolidation. That number is 1-800-816-1003 or visit the website, affordable debtconsolidation.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next on SA Live, how can you make mac and cheese even better? We've got an easy recipe from a local food blogger that takes this classic comfort dish to the next level. Don't go anywhere. Plus, here's a quick look at this week on SA Live. So good. Mm -hmm. Our next guest is an expert at taking just any recipe and putting a little bit of a Latin twist on it. And in fact, she wrote a book about it. Local food blogger Vianney Rodriguez made a special recipe for Hispanic Heritage Month. Even though that may have officially ended last week, we'd never turn down a delicious mac and cheese recipe. Amen. Hola, 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 Vianney Rodriguez here from SweetLifeBake.com. And guys, I'm thrilled to be here to share with you a delicious recipe for Hispanic Heritage Month. Today, I wanna share with you a twist on the classic mac and cheese. My queso mac and cheese is made with Mexican crema and plenty of shredded Oaxaca cheese. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, you'll need pasta, butter, flour, shredded Oaxaca cheese, milk, pepper, salt, tomatoes with green chilies, crushed tortilla chips, Mexican crema, a little bit of butter, and some fresh cilantro. Now we're gonna come in with the butter, fill it. We're gonna let that melt. We're gonna come in with our flour. And what we wanna do is we wanna cook our flour. We're creating a sauce. Okay. We're gonna mix this until it's nice and thick. We're gonna add our milk. And we're also gonna come in with our Mexican crema. We're gonna whisk this until it's nice and thick. For this recipe, I'm using crema mexicana and Oaxaca cheese from real California milk. When you look for the seal, you'll know you're getting quality products made with sustainably sourced milk from family farms. Okay, now that our sauce has thickened, you can tell it coats the back of the spoon and that's exactly what we want. We're gonna come in with our diced tomatoes. We want to season it, so we're going to bring in some pepper and some salt, and we're going to give it a good mix. Now that we have that mixed, we're going to come in with our Oaxaca cheese. Going to give that a quick stir. We want all of that cheese melted into our sauce. So we have our diced tomatoes, our chilies, our Oaxaca cheese, our Mexican crema, milk, salt, and pepper. Now I'm gonna come in with our pasta. And we're gonna stir to coat. We want all that pasta coated in that queso sauce. I'm gonna transfer our macaroni into our dish. And I'm gonna show you the most delicious topping that has got crunch, it's got a little bit of freshness, and it's gonna give this queso mac and cheese 
a little pop of flavor. Okay, to make our topping, we're gonna grab some crushed tortilla chips. We're gonna add them to a bowl. We're gonna come in and drizzle them with a little bit of butter. We want it to get nice and crisp. Then we're gonna come in with some fresh cilantro. And I'm just gonna break it apart with my hands. And then I'm gonna give it a quick mix. We're gonna add it to our queso mac and cheese. And we're gonna have a little bit of crunch, a little bit of freshness. And then we're gonna pop this into the oven for 15 minutes while our topping gets nice and crunchy. And then we're gonna serve it up. And there you have it guys, queso mac and cheese with a crispy tortilla topping. I can't think of a more delicious way to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Well, Vianne has tons more great and easy recipes on our website from desserts to cocktails and everything in between. We set up a link on our website. Just go to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right, next on SA Live, well, the weather's just right to start visiting these pumpkin patches where they're having a family fun event at one and why it is specifically geared toward the senior in your life. Don't want to miss this one. For family fun this fall, AARP is hosting the first ever Halloween Hustle 5K, where families can come out to Palo Alto College, get active together, and make some memories at the pumpkin patch. And we're out here at Palo Alto College today to get a preview. Let's go see who we can find. And look, it's Ismael Herrera, the AARP Texas Associate State Director. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, let's talk about, you know, we think about AARP, we think about them advocating for better health care and benefits for older adults. So how does the Halloween Hustle 5K fit into all of this? Yeah, well, those are some of the things that AARP is known for, but there's really so much more. Uh, just here locally, we have activities almost every week, either in person or virtually. Um, we have activities for cooking. We have activities for those who like to be outside, like some of these events actually. And just uh, working with Palo Alto College has always been a, a great opportunity to help families engage with each other and people of different ages actually get the opportunity to spend time together. Got it, and a great partnership. You said you do a lot with Palo Alto, Yes, we do right? a lot with Palo Alto College. Mm -hmm. We're always happy to work with them. They always have a lot of fun activities. All right, and speaking of fun activities, I think we're gonna go find Priscilla and chat more about the pumpkin patch, right? Yes. All right, thank you so much. The Palomino Pumpkin Patch is perfect for a pristine autumn day. And joining me now is Priscilla Aguilar. Hello, Priscilla. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having us out here. So it's much more, right, than just a pumpkin patch. Tell me all about it. Yeah, so a part of our Educate South movement here at Palo Alto College is the largest free community pumpkin patch. It's actually in the south side. So it'll be right here on our courtyard on October 22nd. We are going to have a free petting zoo and kitty train for our community members. We are going to have food trucks. Our student orgs will be out here selling different treats, um, cash only. And we're gonna have food trucks out here as well um, so that we can have different options for the community to have you know, different snacks here. Got it, and some pumpkin painting, right? Yes, so we'll have <laughs> pumpkin painting available also for the kids to take home and paint here on campus. Lovely, again, keyword is free, right? Yes, free and open to the community, so we're really excited. Perfect, all right, sounds like a fun time. Yes, definitely. All right, I think Primo is getting ready here for the 5K, and I have EJ Moreno telling us more about the Halloween Hustle 5K run that is happening. Hello, EJ. Hi, yes, this is our first ever Halloween Hustle 5K. Participants will have the opportunity to run or walk our family-friendly Halloween-themed course here on campus. Race rates include a $5 non-chipped option and a $25 chipped option. To participate, all you have to do is register by October 21st. Uh -huh. October 21st. Now, the question, can people dress up for this? Yes, so we're asking for people to dress up, but please keep your mask at home, and we're asking for non-scary costumes. Okay, good to know. We don't want to scare the little ones, right? Yes, and all <laughs> proceeds will benefit the Palo Alto College Student Organization. All right, that's great information. Thank you so much, EJ. 
Primo, you ready? You ready to run? Yeah, okay. The Halloween Hustle 5K run is coming up again this Saturday, October 22nd from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Palo Alto College. The Palomino Pumpkin Patch will be open that day from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information on local events with AARP, visit the Facebook page, AARP Texas, or visit their website, aarp.org slash San Antonio. Hey, next on SA Live, are aches and pains in your joints slowing you down? What could be causing it and how you could finally get some relief? It's Bone and Joint Action Week, raising awareness worldwide about prevention, disease management, and treatment for conditions like back pain, osteoporosis, and arthritis. And joining us now is Dr. Richard T. Steffen, orthopedic surgeon at Methodist Hospital Texan. Welcome, welcome, doctor. Hello, how are you doing? All right. What is arthritis? I mean, I know people know or might be familiar, but define it. So arthritis is a disease that attacks the cartilage of a joint, okay? And there's ways that it, uh, what it does is it breaks down the cartilage, the cartilage becomes thinner, and eventually you get this condition known as like bone on bone, okay? You may have heard that term. Uh, our, the most common form of arthritis is osteoarthritis, which is just wear and tear and age related. Uh, after that, you look at things like rheumatoid arthritis, gouty arthritis, and other systemic type arthritis that attack the joint. So is there ways for it to be prevented or managed? Sure. So, you know, prevention is really uh, basic things, right? Exercise, weight control are, are two of the basic things that you can do. After that, it's management, typically with a physician, where they're going to use things like anti-inflammatory medications, uh, physical therapy, which will help. There's other things like bracing, walking aids that we can use. Um, those are all things that will help with um, management of that. And then a more um, management other things that we can do include injections and those may include you know steroid shots biologic type things and then hyaluronic acid or HA injections so is are, are those ways uh, to kind of treat it once it's been uh, you know once it's right. a little more advanced exactly when arthritis goes from advanced to severe there are other things that we can do and those are what I fall into is the surgical treatment of this and uh, those include things from like arthroscopy which is really not uh, one of the mainstays but really joint replacement and when we're talking about joint replacement, we're talking about total knees, total hips, total shoulders, and even now total ankles and elbows. Um, so we have lots of things and lots of skilled people that can manage the severe arthritis. Again, to give you good quality of life and keep you active and going. So are there any you know, tips for folks who are currently living with arthritis? Sure, I think the biggest thing is is you need to uh, really have a good, decent exercise program. Again, manage weight and a good diet with the supplements that help. And then after that, regular management with a doctor who specializes in arthritis. Uh, what are some kind of common misconceptions people may have about living with it? Uh, I think that um, people think once they get arthritis that they can't be active, and I think that's the, not the truth. Uh, the reality is we want you to be active. It's good for joint health. It helps to keep the muscles around the joints strong, and by doing that, you'll be able to live with it longer. And then if you combine that with a lot of the treatments that we do have out there, uh, we can really keep you active in a healthy lifestyle. Well, that's so true, because people think, oh, I, I'm feeling some pain when I do this. I'm not going to push it, but if it's kind of just on the onset, you want to kind of work through that, right, with some exercise. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so without question. Exercises yeah. and everything. And, and of course, you want to be guided in that. Right. And if we need to add therapy to get you strong before you exercise, I think that's important that we do that. All right, doctor, thank you so much. For more information on Methodist Hospital Texan, call 210-736-6700 or visit the website sahealth.com. Dr. Stefan, once again, thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, we're celebrating seniors with Gonzaga Medical Group, and we have five great deals and freebies for senior citizens. Plus, easy fall crafts at a local event center. How you can stay active in your twilight years tomorrow, 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, what is your kind of favorite rainy day food? All right, this is from, who is John Marr? I don't know who that is. Who? <laughs> One of our fabulous producers, John. Chicken tikka masala? Or am I saying that right? Chili chicken or? Chicken tikka masala, chili or grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. He sounds like soup. me. He's got a lot yes. of choices. Yes, you can't choose one. <laughs> Love okay. an ice bowl of homemade chili. Yes. Beans or no beans? There's the All question. Right. Pho. Oh. Ooh. Valerie says caldo de res. 
Ooh, that looks really good. Man oh, no, not menudo. Sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I said that before. I Mike said that doesn't before. like menudo, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Veronica says chicken tortilla soup. There you go. He'll get on board with that. Chicken tortilla soup? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I feel like I should know.